So it's time to get chopping and mixing. Today we are going to make a peach chutney, freezer jam, and some fruit crepes with these things that I've brought from the garden. Mm -hmm, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna chop fruit, cut fruit, slice fruit, dice fruit, mm -hmm. and you're going to mix crepe I'm batter. Make some crepes, yes. Okay, so why don't you tell us what the crepes, how to do that, and I'll work on the fruit. All right, let's make some crepes. Making crepes is easy. All you just need is a little bit of eggs, milk, a little salt. I imagine I have to cut these pretty small because crepes are kind of delicate. Yes, indeed. You don't want to cut them too big because they'll break the crepe. So yeah, if you cut them nice and small like that, that is just perfect. Is that perfect. small enough? Oh okay. yeah. All right, now so that's talking. about the right size. And I want to get the peaches about that size too? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right, so how many eggs do you put in there? I put in three eggs in here and that much milk. How much is that much? That much. <laughs> <laughs> three quarters of a cup maybe. But the thing is, you can always add more. What you're gonna do is you're gonna mix it in, and then you can add a little bit more. And how many are you making? Like, what would be your yield on this in your guesstimation? Eight and a half crepes, exactly. Oh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no measurements are exact, but what you're gonna get out about of it. About that. <laughs> no, eight to ten. Just joking about. About eight to okay. ten. So anyway, I'm mixing it up real good here. I'm gonna give it a good mix now. Make it all nice and smooth. So these peaches are clearly not ready yet. They're a little no. bit green. Right, yeah. So are they going to, um, would you still use them? Um, you know, you can use the, feel them, the outside. Oh yeah. no, see this one just doesn't, doesn't have it do there. It. So it's I, not I, gonna soften up no. or sweeten up. You wouldn't no. use that. These okay. ones are just a little bit under. Okay, right? so you'd leave them on the counter for another couple days. Yeah. Okay, so we'll look for a little bit more. Oh, this one's nice and bruisey. We'll use this one. Milk. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, that one looks okay. Looks really good. I just, I might have to uh, test it out. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, that one okay. does look good. Mm hmm. Right, so I just added a little bit more milk. I'm not supposed to do that on TV, am I? You wouldn't peel the peaches at all? Not if they're no. organic from your garden. They don't usually peel them as if they weren't organic. Right. Really? Okay. So you're whipping away? Yep. Anyway, so now, so now I added a little bit of more milk, and now it's about the right consistency for, uh, for making crepes. It's gonna thicken up. Now what you wanna do is let it sit for about an hour, two hours is even better, and it's gonna thicken up slightly. If it thickens up too much, just add a little bit more milk or even a touch of water. Or you can do it in a blender, like this. <laughs> How fast and easy is that? <laughs> Done. And I made this a little while ago, so we'll have creep batter real soon. Okay. So these peaches aren't as ripe as I thought they were. Um, I've got a lot of waste I see on my cutting board here. I don't like that. I'm just kind of tossing it in here with the... Ooh, this one's good. That one's yeah. good? Okay. It's got some dip. I'm feeling it. Right? There's hardly any green there. Uh, if you press into it, it's got a slight little bit of gift there, and it smells right. Wonderful. Important, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep going here, there's a lot give of that green. One a good wash, and then with this one we'll have enough. I feel like I'm really butchering these peaches. I don't know if he's noticed yet. <laughs> I was just saying I butchered these peaches, I'm afraid. Okay, so let's see you, I, I might need some help here. You do the peaches, and all with right. the blackberries, would we just put them in? Sure. See, the mushy fine. ones, they're all gonna blend, but they come into a bit of a, a pasty or a It saucy? doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, because we'll just gently toss them, and we're gonna toss them maybe with a little bit of honey. Ooh. And that's about the all is to it. Okay, so the crepe batter's in the fridge? Uh, the crepe batter is just sitting right here. Okay, right you don't now. need to put actually, it in the no, fridge. No, no, actually, well, if you're gonna let it sit for a couple of hours, the safety rule says that you can leave things out for up to two hours if the temperature is below, I think it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. Okay. If it's really hot in the kitchen, only for one hour. So it's safe to leave things for two hours. And when you're making crepes, it's actually easier to make crepes with a uh, room temperature batter than it is with cold batter right from the fridge. Oh, that's a good tip. Great tip. Okay, so we'll continue with this fruit salad. And in the meantime, we're gonna check in with Kevin Chirac down in Victoria, spending some time with a diver from Team Canada. <laughs> 